Hi YouTube, Marauders here and today we have the AVF Miracast Donger. Now you might not be familiar with this AVF brand here but <clears throat> essentially what this is, this is another one of those uh, HDMI dongles that you see selling on various sites and they will call them by the name EasyCast so you can see later that the software is actually provided by EasyCast so it's just another one of those products that, um, they are, that they make the firmware and any, anyone that just can just slap their brand name on it so it's a it's a simple HDMI dongle and it's powered by the micro USB and here's a little reset switch here and well that's pretty much it for this dongle that I got and let's plug it in okay so I've already plugged in the dongle to the back of my TV now I'm gonna plug in the USB power to my PC to give it some power and you can see the EasyCast logo that's why I said it's basically just another OEM product and I have the latest version of the firmware I upgraded it so that's why it boots up in Miracast mode so we just need to wait for it to finish the boot up and for it to show up the Miracast time so you can see I have uh, 120 seconds to do a Miracast binding so to do that with Windows all you have to do is go into your settings screen and that is not it go in your settings screen and then go your PC and devices and then you go into your devices and you tap on this add a device and you search for device and you can see that easy sends the ID and it's the same as the ID on the screen and we'll just tap on that it will say that it's connecting and sometimes it just happens and boom and it works we are now we now have a connection <clears throat> so give it some time now if your first question is does this lag yes definitely it's only it's basically transmitting through Wi-Fi so there is a there is a certain amount of lag between it so you can see if I slide it out see so there is a lag, there is a perceivable lag so this is probably not the best way thing to play games on now if you say like, can we watch videos using this? <coughs> so well you can definitely watch videos on this uh, there are not, not much of a problem there but again because this is purely pushing it through through wireless and of course on the atom tablet on the clover chip oh excuse me on a bay trail tablet like the like the asus vivo tab note i'm using right now it might get a it might jerk a bit when it gets down to when you have a high detail scenes high action scenes and of course it all depends on what's the resolution that you're broadcasting out for example right now because I'm cloning the screen the resolution is actually at so let's take a look at the resolution so the screen resolution is currently at 1280 by 800 so that's why it was maintaining pretty okay so let's try and split it I'm gonna extend the display since I can't <clears throat> I can't put it any higher so I'm gonna extend the display and I'm gonna do a theoretical test which so I do an apply yes so now it's a split display ready and I'm going to say on the TV I'm gonna boost it up to 1080 okay so the TV is now at 1080p and 
I guess I should have drawn attention to it is that notice that it could be my TV or, or something else but you can't see the taskbar on the TV basically there's a there's an overscan so you can't see the taskbar on the on the TV I think you call it overscan so I'm gonna play the video again and I'm gonna send this video over to the other screen now to see how I'm doing this please check out my HDMI video in my Acer W4 playlist so I'm gonna send the video to the other side okay so now I am so you can see this is now transmitting 1080p of motion out to the other side and there's definitely a bit more jerking already now I'm gonna use my virtual mouse pad to guide the mouse over so I can navigate it a bit so I'm definitely seeing some lag let's just skip over here so we can see some a bit more motion here so right now it's I guess in general if you're not doing much with the system it might still be okay but you you should know that eventually the it's not going to be perfect and there might you might see more lag or you might see some interference or you can see loss in picture quality if you choose to the if you choose to update show it in a high resolution uh, you can see there are already some lags right now it's already lagging a bit not very perceivable but it's definitely there okay so let's just stop this first and set back to duplicate so that it's easier to control and see <clears throat> now the other thing to have to be aware of is that because this is uh, running through Wi-Fi so doing something like deciding to view view YouTube while you are already broadcasting your video signal video and audio signal through Wi-Fi and you still decide to go and use YouTube um, well let's just find a video uh, hey let's look at my own videos so okay So you can see there's some definite, there's some uh, far, there's some extra lag here because the, uh, we are seeing, we are trying to download the video as well as, and I hit the wrong, and hit an ad. Okay, let's just go for this. Hello YouTube. Marauders here and today we have the Sony Action Camera AS100 So it's still is okay Sony right now, let's just try and do some Sony's uh, GoPro competitor and well let's Let's go. take a note as the video on the screen as well To allow sound waves to actually hit the rubber and conduct through to the mic at the back so we can see that there is, is wow you can normally I do not have any problems streaming this video my internet is faster and you can see that there is quite a significant delay about a second or so so the screen is taking a bit longer to try and update let's try and do a full screen and see Okay. So when we do a full screen, we might see that the lag might increase. Ah, so you can see, did you see that? That was some um, distortion there. Ah. So that's what happens when the Wi-Fi can't keep up with the with the signal. And let's do another test which is 
essentially, you know, we do the gaming test. But it should be obvious by now is that because there are, there's lag between what you see on the TV and what you see on the screen, you can't actually you you can't actually play just by looking on the large screen. So right. So you definitely, because of the actual, the quite, the quite inherent lag, substantial lag, it's that you can't, you, as mentioned, you definitely can't use it to, pl to play by looking at the large screen. But if you just want to show it to someone, that's fine. It's still working right now. I guess this uh, is not being pushed too hard yet. So... But of course, if your since this is pure uh, purely software based transmission, if the game you're playing starts taking up more CPU cycles, you will probably get you probably get more more lags and um, you start get slowing down and distorting. But right now it's still okay. Okay, so that's the Miracast dongle on the Asus VivoTap Note 8. Let's just. Give it a try with the Dell Venue Pro 8 next, then let's see if there's any difference. Okay, so now I have the Dell Venue Pro 8 connected through via Miracast. And let's go through the same test. Let's play a video. Still generally okay. Of course, there's also still lag, and it seems to be a bit more than the than the Asus VP Asus Vivo Tab Note 8. But then we must remember that the Dell Venue Pro actually runs a bit slower than the Asus and the Acer W4. So it's definitely a bit more slower and there's a bit more lag to the video screen. Okay, so now we will... Okay, so we will now test the YouTube performance. So we are doing a web as well as a... We are doing web while we are doing mirror casting. So I need to go to the HTTP P side of YouTube because there's something wrong with the scripts on YouTube right now. <clears throat> Again, let's quickly run into my channel and actually the video is right there. And pop. So again, definitely slower, no no surprises there. And we have an advertisement, quick skip. Carlos here, and today we have the Sony Action Camera AS100. So now I'm on. This is essentially Sony, the latest iteration of Sony's uh, Go. So good so far, let's force some buffering. We will need some accessories later. Now, as you can see here, this is a... So, other than some... Other than lag, which is generally what we were expecting, so still seems okay. But for the... So, for the most part that we know now is that if we are using Miracast, there's going to be lag. So, it's good for doing view-only activities on it, like watching movies or giving a presentation. That's just for completion's sake. We will do uh, the game testing so let's go ahead and start our game resume so once again just gonna
Okay, so I guess I should try and... So, pretty much the same results as we uh, as we saw from the from the VP note just now from the viewer tap note, which is there's some lag. You are not going to be able to to use it to play, but just by looking at the TV. But other than that, if you uh, for someone to just on a viewing purely viewing experience to view on the TV, it's fine. So. And that's it. That's what how it works by how well the Atom works when you're viewing it on Miracast. So in summary, the well, Miracast works with the Windows 8 tablets. It, the main the main issue being that it will it is lag it is, there is a noticeable lag so you can't use it for any real time applications but if you're using it to do a presentation or something there shouldn't be too much of an issue there and um, of course there might be some image degradation if you get if there is really too much ha things happening on the screen i guess the one other thing which i should uh, i should mention is that remember this is this is basically just something that people can just rebrand on the on the chip and uh, the the surprising thing that I see is that for this easy cast brand this so called easy cast dongle is that well at the very least they do allow you to go to the internet and up, update the firmware so it the performance even though you can see that on my for this dongle you can see that the performance might be usable depending on how well the other brand implemented it it might actually be better or worse so there definitely is a lot of buyer beware happening there especially if you are just buying some um, generic branded branded equipment okay that's it I will See you all around then.